Hey everybody, Nick here. I'm in the shed again. So today is um, about eight days after Gord Downey has passed away. And I can tell you that um, I am still depressed about that. I mean, we all knew that he wasn't going to last forever. But it's still hard to comprehend. My first concert was in 1993, and I was about 16 years old. And it was the first concert I'd ever, ever been allowed to go to. It was an, another roadside attraction at Western Speedway in Victoria. And it was probably the, you know, the most glorious thing ever. I have so many fond memories. Uh, they played with uh, Perubu and um, a couple of other bands. I can't remember. But the other bands, they didn't really, didn't really matter. It was all about the Tragically Hip. I just, I remember getting out there somehow. I think someone gave me a ride. And then I ended up having to take the bus back. And uh, was, my ears were ringing. I couldn't hear what people were saying to me after we left the concert. And um, it was just the best thing ever. And I ended up seeing them a few more times after that, too. And uh, it was always such an awesome experience. And it wasn't just, just Gord's singing or his theatrics on stage. It was this conglomeration of the band's music and just their, their soul they're they're deep you could tell that they just loved making music because they were all just really into it so this last week has been really hard and I don't know about other people out there and maybe you don't even like the Dredge Clip maybe you know there's there are probably lots of people who never enjoyed their music maybe they didn't like his voice didn't think he was a good singer I mean it's possible, right? <clears throat> but you know what? I have... I mean, I'm 40 years old now. And that was a long time ago. And... Uh, locked in the trunk of a car. That song would always come back to me. I don't know why. That would always be running through my head. And I'm not a singer, I can't sing, and I'm definitely not going to sing for you right now. <clears throat> seeing seeing what how people have reacted over the last week has just been amazing. Um, I saw a video from Toronto where they had a sing-along. And there must have been, there was well over a thousand people there. And they were all singing. Bob Cajun. Like when when do you even when do you see that? When, how often does that happen? When a when an artist dies, a singer dies, and people come by the thousands to to have a sing along in his memory. Now I never knew Gord Downey by you know personally, and I don't really know much about his private life. And I don't think a lot of people know a lot about his private life either. Because um, he wasn't really something you would see in the celebrity news all the time. At least I didn't see him in the celebrity news. I don't care about celebrity news anyway. Celebrities are celebrities, whatever. They're in movies. Successful. It's good for them. So making this video right now is just like a... I had to do something because I can talk to the people who 
I'm friends with, but a lot of them don't really have this huge, um, or have ever had a huge interest in, in Gord's music. And I, I listen to his music on a regular basis. I've, I've even sought out albums that were just totally, you know, <clears throat> totally out there. Things that were just not mainstream. And I kind of think that's part of the reason why most of the United States didn't really get into him. Is because he had such a niche. He was very, like... He told stories. He told stories through his songs. It wasn't just a, a chorus. That's not really what he went for. And I mean, this is just my personal opinion, right? You don't have to agree with me. But I mean, he told stories about, uh, you know, Canadian history. Um, Tom Thompson was a was a really famous artist and he was found dead in a lake um, in Ontario um, he wrote a song about Tom Thompson he wrote songs about so many things I can't even I can't even list them off here and so the weird part is is that <laughs> I think Gord Downey's death has affected me more than my own father's death because first of all I didn't really know my father all that well he was this strange enigma that didn't reveal much and so this has been hard and I'm sure it's been hard for a lot of people out there And it makes you sad. And I wish I had been able to see more of his performances that were a little more personal, um, more intimate, as opposed to the giant concerts that I attended. And uh, I don't think I ever got a chance to buy a t-shirt because they were always so expensive, like it didn't matter what concert you went to, it was always like 50 bucks for a small shirt. And I could never afford that. So unfortunately I don't have a t-shirt. But I do have the music. And um, recently I, I watched Secret Path. And I didn't watch it just once. I've watched it like six times. And those songs, when you compare the when you compare the recordings and compare it to the live concert they did for Chani Wenjack's family, there's there's a difference there. There's like there's a power to his singing. And you can just you can see it in his eyes. And he's, you know, Gord was so intense. Like recordings on a on a CD, um, so much different. But when you see him live performing those songs, oh my God, it's just awesome. So. I think a lot of people are going to miss Gord Downey and the Tragically Hip. And as for like replacing him and having, you know, the Tragically Hip being a band again, I don't think that'll ever happen. You just can't you can't replace that. So yeah, I'm, I'm here talking to whoever will listen. And um, if you're out there and you are sad about what has happened and you're binge watching uh, Gord Downey videos on YouTube, um, I'm there with you. I am there with you. And um, I think something that 
he would want us all to do is um, don't forget. Don't forget the message that he was trying to send. Don't forget that you need to do something for something to change. And when you're faced with your own death and you're able to bring a country together and recognize problems in our society, I think that's extremely valuable. And we should all make sure to remember his message and our history and everything else. And never give up changing things that are wrong. And that's about all I have to say. And Gord, wherever you are, you're singing to us from the stars now. And your contribution to the music in our lives. <clears throat> Thanks, Gord. Thank you so much. And thank you for spreading so much love and joy. <laughs>